Welcome to another lesson from Canva Creatives. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create this simple to-do list. So we're going to go ahead and log into our Canva account. And in the templates area, you're going to choose the letter design. And then once that design loads, you're going to go to the elements section and choose shapes. And we're going to scroll down to an open frame shape. You can choose whatever one you want. I'm going to go with this little square. And then I'm going to change the color of the square just to make it easier when I print it out. I don't really need any colors, but you can put any color you want in the square. And then for the line, we're actually going to use a text element. So you can choose any of the text headings, subheadings. It doesn't really matter. You're going to want to make it the length of your document. And then you're going to use the shift and underscore key to make a line. And I'm going to move it down just a bit. I'm going to make sure that it matches the color of my square and it still seems a little thick. So I'm going to change the font size. I think instead of the size, I'm going to go ahead and change it to Times New Roman. That might make the line a little thinner. And then I'm going to adjust it again. Once you have it the way you want it on your paper, you want to group your two elements together to make it easier to copy them. And then you're just going to copy those two elements all the way down the page, however you like them. Now, once we've got all that set on our page, I usually like to put a website address on all of my documents, just in case I end up giving these out so people have a way of finding me. I'm going to change it to a light gray so it doesn't overpower the document. It's just kind of there if someone needs to figure out where they got this from. And then I'm going to add a title. Nothing fancy. I like League Spartan because it's a very simple font. And then I'm going to put this in all caps. And since I'm printing this out, I'm going to change it to light gray. And next we need to name our document. 
and then download. If this was for a client or I was putting this on my website, I would save it as a PDF print. I'm just going to use the PDF standard and you're all set. Once you download it, you can print it out and check away your to-dos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And if you want more Canva tutorials, check me out on my website, my Facebook page, or my Facebook group.